Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. As you can see, I have a very special guest with me today who I like to rope into videos sometimes. And that's obviously my lovely husband, Ricky. Don't get called that often. <laughs> it's only because I'm filming. <laughs> oh, I know, it's not my really is it? Yeah, no. We've got a very Power. noisy fin Finley here with us, so apologies if this isn't the most professional video, but when when are they? When are they? We took a little bit of um, a break from making Christmas content last year because we had literally just had a child. Well, not wait. Um, yeah. Well, I did, but you yeah. were very you were quite helpful after he was born. Couldn't do much whilst, well, like during, yeah. but anyway. Um, but now he's here, and it's actually even harder to film with a twelve month or. 12 month old? He's one, one now. Year old. Uh, one year old, I can't get used to saying that, then with a newborn probably, because he would have just slept. But here we are, we thought we'd get back into it and we're gonna do some Christmassy videos for you, some gift guides, a few little fun challenges that we've um, come up with and yeah, just make some Christmas content because it's getting exciting now. It's coming around really fast. What are you doing? I don't know, it's just a little sneak peek. Thumbnail. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> um, we've done this a few times before, yeah. and people really, really loved it when you've done your gift guide. So. I feel like I've just got similar stuff though, because I'm still on my, the same person. Just you are the same, the same person. Ideas. You are. Yeah. You are the same person. But there's definitely some new things that you've never shown here before. Well, actually, one of the things I showed in the last one, but it's just I've used it for that long that like, I want to show it again. Well, we'll we'll just we'll just get on with it. If you like it, it yeah, give it a okay. thumbs up. If you don't like it, then just don't give it a thumbs up. Right. Let's get into the video. Go. Right, so the first one is, since we've had the renovation, my slippers are awful, aren't they? They are absolutely dreadful. So I got these, I think I had these a fair few years ago, maybe in the old house, and they were just ridiculously comfortable. And we went in TK Maxx, they were there, 1699 Ben Sherman, which I think was bad. Were they Ben Sherman ones you had before? No, I think, no, I can't remember what ones I had before. So Maybe you're basically were. just like the Ugg style yeah. slipper, but not as And expensive. these ones have got a really soft sole. I hate the ones where after a little while the sole just goes flat and there's just no cushion there. Right. They're just, they're just a waste. So these would last you, really well. Like in an ideal world, would you like Uggs? Uh, if they were in this style. They are. That, yeah, but that I just don't like the price of it. Like these are a good price for what they are. Yeah. So, so Rick's not one for like, I mean, I have a really nice pair of Uggs, which look like them. They're not slippers, they're the ultra mini ones. Yeah. But you probably wouldn't spend that amount on our slippers, no. would you? So they're a really nice alternative anyway. They're really nice ones. And the next thing, it may seem so obvious to some people, but this poker set, God, I used to play poker all the time, didn't I? My yeah. friends, at, not our old house, but the one before. And we watched a movie the other night called Poker Face on Sky, and it reminded me to get this. You haven't played it in a while, but I feel like now the renovation's done, you could have all the boys over for Yeah, now we've got night. the island or the table, and it's actually we can mm. actually walk around the table. It'd be good to get a few of the boys over to actually it was like, it, play this. It was always poker nights back, like, it was a fair few years ago, wasn't it, that you last yeah. did it, but... I it think we've done it once a month. We've done it once a month. Yeah, well, <laughs> but it's got a lot, it's a lot be, more expensive. That would be a good <laughs> idea to do during the winter months. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as you guys know, that watch our videos regularly, we work with Sky Cinema each month. And like Rick said, we watched a film called Poker Face, yeah. which um, you explain it, because it's, it's really good. more of your kind of it was vibe, isn't it? Liam, Tem uh, Liam Hemsworth was in it. Um, what was the main character called? I forgot. Um, well, it was Russell Crowe. Oh, Russell Crowe, that's it. But that's not his and name in the film. No, that's not his name in the film, but he um, directed it as well, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. So it was, it was good, because it's one of those films that you watch, that was based around five friends that basically have stayed friends from when they were little to now. One of them's, I can't really say that because I'm going to give it away. That's what I do every month. I'm like, I can't <laughs> no, say that bit. That's why it's called Poke Face. But basically, something happens where they all have to get back together and then these little stories come out. Mm -hmm. And it's one of these films where, it, I think it was an hour and a half long, this film, but it did not feel like we were watching it for it an hour was, and a half, it did was it? So it was like weird. it was, we watched it in about 20 minutes. It was but, bizarre. It went really quick, which I'm assuming means it was good. Yeah. Like, it was definitely more your genre of movie, but I yeah. really enjoyed it. It was something a bit different and quite an interesting twist, I would say, as to yeah. why they're all there. And yeah, 
it was a really good film. So I will link that in the description box below for you. Um, so you can go and check out the trailer as always. Um, it's on Sky Cinema now, so you can watch it for your next like sort of couples movie night, or you could have a poker night and have that on. Or is if you're like watching that. poker. Poker night with poker face on New, the TV. New Year's Eve. <laughs> All right. Uh, Where am I going then? Wherever you like. <laughs> This is the deluxe poker set version from TK Maxx, which was 19.99. It is a good, solid set, and I reckon you're probably looking at six to eight people. I reckon you could probably use with this set. It is a tournament set as well, so it's perfect for a night in. It's really heavy, isn't it? Yeah. It's like good quality, but I think even if you don't find one in TK Maxx, because obviously that's a bit hit or miss, you could probably get one similar on Amazon. Yeah, I quite like the case with that though as well. So yeah, like some of them nice that you box. buy on Amazon, you don't get a nice case, and you end up losing them on boys, get hold of them, they go everywhere. You didn't want them um, then. I just chucked them on the floor. So oh I thought I'd do toiletries next. So this one, Fuzzy Duck or Ducky Fuzz, however you want to say it. Fuzzy Duck. Um, Is that why they've called it that? Like the. I would imagine so. Right. So it's got in there, Body washes, shampoos, and soap, hand soap, or solid soap. I know it sounds weird, but it seems to be. Probably body soap, is it? No, it's, it's the hand soaps. Is it? Yeah, no, it's a cleansing mus soap. Muscle soap crystals. <laughs> I needed some, and as a set of five for twelve ninety nine, I thought that was really good. That, what's that one? Hair and body wash. And it's like hemp and bergamot. Yeah, scent. and you got aftershave, balm, shower gel, cleansing soap, and muscle soap crystals. So that is perfect for like if you've got a brother, uncle, you don't know what to buy them. Oh, we're going to have to get him involved in this, I think. Um, it's by Bayliss and Harding, which obviously is quite a well known brand. I think TK Maxx and places like that do have it a lot, as well as the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. But this is, they've kind of come out with the male version, so I just thought that it I looks think for really nice. as well. Let me just hold it up a little bit closer. Sorry. It just looks really smart. I mean, I, I would definitely get that for like my brother, your brother. Mm. You know, when you're struggling for a gift, um, it's perfect. Okay. And another thing, which this is what I'm pretty sure I shared two years ago, but now I've got more of it, is the L'Oreal Men Expert Barber Club Beard and Moisturiser and Skin and Beard Oil, which upstairs as well, I think I've got the face scrub as well, which is lovely. Um, but again, it's something I've always used and I think they're great. So. I just wanted to add them in, I don't even know. Let me to hold it up. Yeah, you do that bit. And you talk. Hang on. They're perfect for long, long beard, short beard. Uh, I think you can pretty much get from anywhere. I normally try and get mine from Boots because that's normally where it's best priced. But they probably will have a gift set of this, I would say. Oh, you'd say that, I haven't seen one oh, yet. Oh, really? But if you find it, let me know because I'll definitely go out and get more because this one's nearly empty. But if you have someone in your life with a beard, that is a really good recommendation if it's something you're still using after two years and really like. So Yeah, normally those sorts of things, like definitely before I started using that, I'd have creams and gels that I'd use for a few months and then my beard would just go back to how it was and they would stop having that same effect. But this one, this beard oil especially, mm. perfect for that. This is my favourite aftershave at the moment. Again, we haven't been out much, but we went out last Saturday and it was the first one that I picked up. It's got it's a lovely gone. smell. Kate loves it. Mm. And I need to get a new one. I d didn't I get this for you for a Christmas or birthday at some point? I can't remember, but the fact that it's almost gone is I know that I use it a lot. It's blue de Chanel, um, and it is really, really lovely. So mind I you, I would say that it. that sort of size as well has definitely lasted me. I'd probably say a good year. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going out every weekend, but you only use it when like you don't use it as your everyday. No, but sticking with things that I've already got are these. Now I got these um, back in. When did I go to that golf trip? Was it April? May. May. I got these back in May because I need new headphones for a golf trip that I went on. And I oh, just I hate paying like for over over the price of things. So I found these in Argos. They had really good reviews, so I got them. They were $39.99. I think they're the same price now. <laughs> um, but they're white. I think you can get them in black as well. They're wireless headphones. They fit perfectly in my ear, which is great for me because I don't really find things that do. I and they've got great sound. They're good for when you're out and about moving. Um, you can do light exercise in them as well without... Oh, I can't. He just wants to be on your face. You can do light exercise... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> you could do light exercise with them without falling out as well. Um, and they are by JVC, I think JVC. it is. JVC? Yeah. Sorry, did you say where they were from? Uh, I got them from Argos, but if you oh, Google yeah. it, I'm sure you can get them other places too. Like they've lasted well. Like there is... Yeah, and the charge time on them is really good. Even now, so I've probably been using them almost every day since I've, I've had them. Um, and they probably, I'd probably say on full charge, you get about four to five days out of them, which is 
And good they enough, seem like really sturdy and good quality, whereas some fake. Yeah, like you don't have don't. none of the sound dropping in and out like you do on some of the fake ones. Um, and you've even used them, haven't you? Yeah, they're good. But these are coffee syrups. I hit the coffee after we had Finley because we've got three kids now. Um, they've got gingerbread, peppermint, eggnog, and Irish cream. Irish cream, I'll definitely hit. The eggnog, I'll try. You never know, we might like it. Um, you but can I've taste got. Test them all. Yeah, I've got a really bad sweet tooth, so I kind of have this instead of sugar in coffee. Um, and for four ninety nine for four big bottles, I thought that was pretty good. That's the same brand as your amaretto one as well. The Acre Gift. Oh yeah, and that's really good. Yeah. And these were from TK Maxx. We did get no, a Home lot Sense. of these. We got these from Home Sense. From TK Maxx and Home Sense, but I'm sure you can find them in there or find these things in other places. They were just things that Rick particularly liked and would like to receive for Christmas, basically. I've just noticed you've even got your Christmas slippers on. Uh, yeah. Socks. We've got a guest because someone doesn't want to miss out and be involved, do you? Do you want to show this orange lips? Okay, hey, he's yeah, just had his go. lunch. Say so, hi guys, I'm one now. Going I'm back one. to beard stuff, <laughs> if you don't just want to buy the oils or the creams or the gels or whatever, sometimes that when my beard gets really long, I struggle to keep it brushed. And these brushes are perfect. I don't know if you can see that one in there. Are perfect for that. And this one comes with a beard softener and beard palm and it's only 19 99 yeah, I haven't yeah. seen that one yet. Ooh, you have to let everyone know what that's like compared to the L'Oreal. Yeah, it's if you've got someone that always has a short beard, I wouldn't advise it because those brushes are for the longer beard. Um, but they are good for it. Finley do his beard. Ta. Have you got a beard? Pants. Good <laughs> quality pants. I know it's like a pants niche and gift socks. for for Christmas for men, but I always find. I've worn these for ages. Oh. These are the Ted Baker ones from TK Maxx. They are $16.99 for two. Oh. Now, I know they seem a little bit expensive, but these will last me so much longer than if I went out and bought a pack of four or a pack of six from somewhere for half the price. Um, so this is what you I will go out. you a lot of them, Yeah, you? this is what I will go out and spend a little bit more money on because being a bigger guy as well, they're so soft and they are perfect, perfect pants. The bigger guys need softer pants. <laughs> No, but like, I'm, I'm funny with pants, Sorry, and I? Like, I, I don't like the feel of certain ways certain ones are made, but where these are nice and soft, they just fit well. They're, they're, they're a good, good pair of pants. This is a very chaotic video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> these last two bits are trivia on the bog. I think I got this from B&M at £2.50. Not so classy. Not obviously a main present or a, a big present idea, but I always use my phone, so I thought, why not get something I can read? B&M, £2.50. And that'd be perfect for a little, little secret Santa as well, if you're doing that, £2.50. Yeah, that's a I'd, good, cheap yeah. secret Santa. And then murder you can at buy the- buy them a, a toilet roll as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last one is murder at the manor. Me and Kate have done quite a few murder mystery parties now. We've done three. Well, we've been to them. We've uh, done them. Yeah, someone's hosted them, one of our friends, and they've been really good. So we thought we would get this in case we ever did one. Oh, um, he does not want to be and sitting down. It's only five ninety nine. So if you've got a good group of friends yeah. who are up for a laugh, a few drinks, this is perfect. Yeah, I, what was it, five ninety nine? Five ninety nine. dollars yeah. I don't know how good it will be because I think the really good ones are maybe a bit more expensive than that, so I can't really vouch for that game in particular. But I do think a murder mystery pack is a great idea if you've got a friend that loves true crime. That is everything on my list, I think, yeah. There's just some gift ideas there, some quite good ones for the budget, I, I'd I think say. as well, nothing they're... Nothing majorly expensive. Yeah, nothing majorly large, expensive, so. and they're all things that... I actually use so they're not just things that we've bought just willy-nilly if you like yeah they're actually things that I'll use throughout the year um, or the beard stuff until it's gone then I'll replenish it um, obviously the pants um, the coffee syrups I will probably use until they're gone not just for Christmas so everything there is perfect for a gift and something idea. that if you received you'd be like oh that's brilliant like yeah. you know so maybe yeah, I'd have to do that awkward well. open up a present like it's lovely. And you're not even, you know you're not going to use it. So, what I'll try and do is, if I can find any of these online, I will link them below. But obviously, we did get a lot of them from TK Maxx, so I might put some alternatives that are on the same 
lines. But so look in the description box below. And with Black that. Friday coming up, some of that stuff I would say in boots and yeah, Amazon that's true. might be a little bit cheaper. But I don't know if you'll get this video out before I Friday. Should, uh, yeah, I should do. I should be able to get some links in the description box, um, and this will go up before. And Friday. also, if you notice, I'm not looking at the camera. It's because I've done that rookie error where I look in the screen at the side a lot. So you haven't been used to it for a while, apart no. from vlogging, and it's not really. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I was, was able to sit down really without kids, but I'm just <laughs> not without kids. No. Um, yeah, sorry for this very chaotic video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it though. Um, and I will be, I don't know what order these will be going up, but I'm going to do um, a girls, ladies, women's gift guide. female gift guide. And we got a gift the, guide for her. We got the BM challenge next. And we're doing a BM challenge, yep. Yeah. Did the five rules, rules of, of Christmas, Christmas, kind of. Which yeah, are, so we've done. <laughs> Something to eat, something yeah. we need, something we want, something to wear, and something to share, was it? No. <laughs> oh. I think it went, something you uh -oh. want. Uh oh. The baby's about to move the tripod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. If you're still here at this point, thank you so much. <laughs> You've got some patience. Um, you do have patience. Um, something you want, something you need, something to, to share. But we didn't do that one because we're not n nice. No, we I'm joking. Um, we did do something to share because we just thought for the video oh, that might be a bit difficult. Oh, eat and read were the last two. Yeah, something <coughs> you want, something you need, something to eat, yep. something to read, and something to... Where? Where? That made no sense. Oh, my goodness. Mate. What have you done to us? So it was something to wear, something to <laughs> eat, something you need. Don't say it again. Okay, Sorry. right, let's go. We'll see you on uh, the B&M challenge, hopefully without this one, because he's going for a nap. We will film the B&M challenge when we can get this boy down Finn, for a nap. So bye. So hopefully it won't be as chaotic. Say bye. Don't forget to check out Poker Face as well on Sky Cinema in the trailer below. Um, and we'll see you in our next Christmassy video. Bye, guys. Can you wave? Say bye. Bye-bye. What, what noise is a tiger lion make? make? Can I have kids? Aww. I love you, Mum. Mummy time.